we look at a problem on complex numbers from recent 2023 MC12. And here we're given that complex numbers satisfy this condition. We're going to use geometric method to solve the problem. In fact, the geometric interpretation is an important method in solving some complex number problems. So we're given that for Z satisfy this condition, of course, this is a modulus. What is the max imaginary part of Z if it can represent it in square root of M over N, what is M plus N? So we're given complex number satisfy this, of course, this is a modulus of complex expression here. And so we try to find the max imaginary part of Z. Now, attempt one is we're going to use a brute force. That is net Z equal X plus Y I, X Y, real number here. So the imaginary part would be Y. The, the question is, what is max of Y? You plug in here, what you get is 1 plus Z plus Z square would be 1 plus X plus Y I plus Z square here, that would be x squared minus y squared plus 2xyi. And the modulus of this here, 1 plus z plus z squared would equal to get the real part, 1 plus x. And here's the real part and the imaginary part, right? And what you do is square root of 1 plus x plus x squared minus y squared squared plus and then this would be y plus 2xy square. And then you're given that this constraint is equal to 4. And you try to find max of y. All right, wrong direction. Let's give up. What do you want to do here is that we're going to rewrite this 1 plus z plus z square. And let's complete the square. That's z plus 1 half of square. And then this is one, this is one quarter. So you need to add three over four. We're given is that Z plus one half square plus three quarter, the modulus equal to four. Here is the important trick. That is let U equal Z plus one half. Now U and Z the imaginary part is the same. That's the important observation. That is, if we rewrite the equation, that is u squared plus 3 over 4 equal 4. This and that are equivalent. And by change of variable, the u has the same imaginary part. If we can find the maximum imaginary part of u, then we know that uh, we find the answer to the original question, right? But this is easier to work with. So what's the meaning of this? So that's important to know the geometric meaning. The meaning is that a u square as a complex number plus three over four is constant value. So if some number, complex number, go to a point, so this point here, is going to be p here is going to be negative 3, 4, and 0. That's a point on complex plane. Just equal distance to this point here, right? So which means this is a circle. So what we know is that u square on the circle. For the u square, this u square modulus, right? This is bigger. This is bigger. This is u square, right? What is the biggest? u square min. So this is the biggest u square that has the biggest modulus. Okay. And what is the value here? So u square modulus at this special point here, right, has a value of the radius is 4. Yeah, because this equation here says the distance is 4, so 4 is the radius. And this point is uh, negative 3 quarter. So, okay. So 19 over 4 is the modulus here, right? 
Now corresponding u, now u square as a complex number equals to this. So here we're going to get u hat is going to be square root of this i, right? We claim that that's maximum imaginary power for u because for any other cases, the total modulus is, uh, is smaller than this quantity here, right? Since earlier we, we claimed that they are equivalent, so for original z, maximum of imaginary part of z is also equal this quantity here, which is square root of 19 over 4, or 2 square root of 19, so m plus n equal 19 plus 2 equal 21. Go back to our, our problem, the answer is B, 21. For these and other interesting math problems, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.